Salud. Drinking the holy holly herb, yerba mate. Delicious, invigorating, powerful, makes you cheerful, detoxifies your body, expands your mind, makes a connection between whoever you drink it with. This is the powerful, a powerful, the most powerful herb you could drink. I drink it every day, I love it. So let's talk a little bit today. I've been playing with this whole concept of space. What is space? Is space out there? Is space all around us? Is space where no matter is? Does space matter? Everything needs space to grow. Without space, I think we get crowded. But I think that we also need to get crowded. When I think of focus and concentration, I don't think of space. I think of that almost as the opposite of space. So many times we find ourselves very focused on some sort of objective, some sort of goal or plan. And we just get sucked into it. It's like a tunnel. We become blinded to everything else, but yet we become ridiculously affected with whatever we are uh, doing in our lives, whatever we're passionate about, whatever we're focused on. So when you're focused on something, the space kind of collapses and you build sort of a laser focus. But I believe that on the other side, if there's space, what does space allow us to do? It allows us to grow, to run, to move, to expand, to flex our energy, to flex our power, to be who we truly are. Without enough space, we will surely constrict our minds as well as our bodies so space is absolutely necessary but too much space is problematic too much space is complacency lack of motivation lack of ambition lack of drive lack of substance lack of form and shape you can't really know what's going on with you you can't really see what you're creating you can't really see any progress in your life there's too much space in your life. You have no focus, you have no structure. You have no concepts. Now this word concept means cage, but a cage also means formation. Let that not be a negative connotation. So we must find the balances. I'm beginning, I'm beginning to find this now more important in my life than ever before. And this especially goes for those people out there who are not only creative, but are also analytical. People who also like structure, along with no structure. For you guys out there, this video is pretty much directed at you. Because your mind could go either way. You could go into the structure, formations, uh, strategy, analysis, statistics. And you could build beautiful systems around these concepts whether that be through business, through your own art. But we also must remember that we need to create, not just formulate, to create. And only creation comes out of nothing. Nothing is space, no thing, nothing. So pull yourself back into focus if you find yourself too spaced out. And if you find yourself too spaced out, squeeze yourself back into focus, concentration, and allow your energy to travel through a stream. This is the balance. This is the most important challenge. It doesn't matter what medium you're working in. You could be a teacher. You could be a businessman. You could be a businesswoman. You could be a lawyer, a doctor. Everyone has their own mission. And on that mission, it could be very treacherous and dangerous at times, along with, with it being very uh, promising and fruitful and happy. But the balance must be met. This is the thin and narrow line that must be walked very carefully. There must be a little bit of tension on that line, because if it's too slack, you're going to fall off. My name is Dave Mate. 
drinking my mate as usual. If you guys want to try a free sample of mate, click on the link below this video. We're offering a one week supply of organic yerba mate, the best mate circle of drink. It's been a pleasure talking to you guys on Mind Pedals. I know I've been kind of out there, but I've been very busy, very focused, but now I'm trying to build space again. My name is Dave Mate. Check me out at circleofdrink.com. Thanks a lot, guys. Salute.